diverse, teeming with life, colorful and majestic. Coral reefs are beautiful, but their future survival is in jeopardy. Coral reefs, the rainforests of the sea. Corals are marine invertebrates that are an animal, plant, and mineral all in one. The animal portion is an interconnected colony of identical individuals known as polyps. The polyp consists of tentacles that extend outward from the mouth that work to capture food. The plant-like portion comes from coral's symbiosis with communities of single-celled algae called zooxanthellae. Lastly, the mineral portion comes from the production of calcium carbonate, which forms the skeleton of the coral. Coral reefs are made up of thousands of colonies of corals, which when combined over the world, make up less than 1% of the Earth's surface, but are home to one quarter of all ocean species, thus their nickname as the rainforests of the sea. Viewed from a distance, coral reefs showcase a diversity of life, unlike any other in the world. However, zooming into corals shows a world of unexpected and hidden splendor. Corals eat in two ways. The first is through a vital symbiosis with their zooxanthellae. Zooxanthellae are algae, which means that they photosynthesize, taking carbon dioxide, water, and sunlight, and turning them into sugar and oxygen. The sugar is transferred to the polyp for nourishment and can result in up to 98% of the coral's total energy consumption. The second way corals eat is by catching tiny prey, known as zooplankton. This process is simply spectacular to see, especially up close. Coral polyps will stretch out their tentacles, which are covered in stinging cells called nematocysts. Nematocysts deliver toxins into their prey, stunning or killing them, to allow the tentacle to pull the food into the mouth and stomach. The sting happens in a matter of nanoseconds, and the firing of these stinging cells is the fastest known biological reaction. Coral reefs, though, are very sensitive to changes in their environment. Each species has adapted to the environment in which it lives, with most needing ample sunlight, tropical ocean temperatures, and a balanced acidity level in the water. Changes to the environment can lead to bleaching events, where corals lose their sensitive partner algae in response to high temperatures and can die. A majority of the corals in the Galapagos Islands were lost from a large El Nino ocean warming event in 1982 and 83. However, the coral reef off of the northern island, Darwin, recovered and remains today. Here at the Frost Science Museum in Miami, Florida, we are working to help make corals more resilient to changes in their environment, whether an El Nino event, like in the Galapagos Islands, or from a changing climate. In our coral laboratory, we are stress hardening corals. This method uses controlled stress to get corals to expel their algae, then introduces heat resistant zooxanthellae. These heat tolerant partners allow these corals to be able to withstand warmer ocean temperatures. This method is being developed to improve the survival of nursery grown corals in partnership with the University of Miami's Rescue a Reef program. Scientists worldwide are working towards finding solutions to save coral reefs and the diverse life that calls them home. Through continued research by these dedicated scientists in partnership with conservation efforts from governments and not-for-profit organizations, corals stand a fighting chance to continue to be the trees growing the rainforests of the sea.